Hey guys, it's Mackenzie from Girl Loves Glam here, and I am here with a brand new video all about your burning questions about brows, eyebrows. I get asked so many questions about eyebrows, and here's the thing, like eyebrows, obviously they've always been attached to our faces, but right now is the year of the brow. It has been like the hottest thing lately. And um, so really, honestly, I have had to discover eyebrows the same way everyone else has, like a little testing and trial. And I used to have horrible eyebrows and they're finally, finally, maybe to a place that I kind of like. So I'm just gonna give my few tips of how I got my, my eyebrows to grow, what I do to maintain the shape that they are, and what I do each day to apply my eyebrow makeup and hopefully it will help you have your own set of fabulous eyebrows. So here we go, we're gonna have a little magic here and get rid of this eyebrow makeup. Here we go, ooh, magic. <laughs> okay, so now I don't have any eyebrow makeup on and I will show you what I do personally. So personally, I use the Anastasia Brow Genius Kit and I, last I checked, it's not available anymore. It's just a powder is what it comes with. And there are tons of brow powders out there. I know that you can even use a matte, like a dark matte eyeshadow for eyebrows. I know a lot of people do that. So um, just the main thing is make sure that it's a good color for you. So I'm just gonna show you what I do with this. Um, obviously, it would be different if you're using um, an eyebrow pencil, which I also have. Um, I don't, this is like nothing fancy. This is from Rimmel that um, I used before I started using the Anastasia stuff. Um, I loved it because it has this little like brush, brow brush on here. Obviously, you can tell I've used it a lot. Um, the Anastasia, what is it, Brow Wiz? Yeah, Anastasia Brow Wiz. I know it's great, a lot of people love that one, but you don't necessarily need to go super fancy with what you do use. You just need to make sure it's a good color, and my big tip would be to make sure that it has, if you're using a um, pencil, that it has like a very small tip on it and that you are constantly sharpening it to make sure that it is a, a good tip on there. For powders, or I know that there are different types, like maybe even like gel, more consistency, which is nice with this Brow Genius kit that you can't even get anymore right now. Um, it comes with this Beauty Genius waterproofing gel. I know that you can buy this separately, the Anastasia, I know that you can buy this to use with um, different brow products that she has, but you can use it with any brow powder. That's gonna make it waterproof. It's going to make them um, a lot more um, noticeable. They're gonna be a little more bold. They, anyway, they're, they're fabulous when they're done that way. I don't do it that way every single day because they are more bold and I don't necessarily want them super bold every day. But what I do is I'll just scoop some up on this little thing, put it on my, on my brush, and then I just mix it with my brow powder until it has a like, wet consistency, like a, almost like a gel um, is what it creates. So I'm gonna show you this way because I know that it will show up better on the camera. The main thing is make sure that you have, uh, like angle brushes are the best, and make sure that the, it's very small. So with my eyebrows, um, I'll just show you kind of, I just start at the front part right here and it's all about small, really small, like natural, movements because you want it to mimic natural hair, obviously. So I just work my way up to the arch and then I usually come back and I turn my brush 
and I like to do this when I don't have as much makeup on my brush but I just come right here with the middle part and create uh, not necessarily, I don't want it to look square at all, but just a more bold beginning, I guess, to my brow right there. And don't worry, I'll soften it a little bit, but um, then I just kind of work my way up on the top and work my way to the top of the arch. So for the most part, this part is done. Then I, once I met this part then I kind of cross over and do you see like I just had to fill in that whole section that whole section sometimes is kind of missing depending on how my eyebrow hair is laying that day kind of cross over and just fill in this part a little bit to make it so that I have like a good arch so you can kind of see for the most part my brows are shaped the same so you can kind of see almost like a before and after of the shape of my brows like the shape is so much better this way than it is like this I just don't have a ton of arch so you can kind of see that then you come back with your brush and just brush through it and this makes them look a lot more natural um, and I usually like to brush up I like to brush over and when I'm in this middle part, then I kind of brush this direction. I love the look of like a really bold brow, but I don't necessarily love it on me. So um, I try to keep mine very like natural looking, but they are like enhanced. And so that's kind of what I would consider this eyebrow. Because then you see this one and you just see like this side of my face just looks so much more finished and polished this side not so much okay so there are my eyebrows they are now for the most part matching that's basically all I do for them the key is just to make sure that you have very small um, swipes each time that you put it on and the same rule applies if you are using a pencil whatever it is um, it's all gonna be the same you just need to make sure that they're very small natural swipes so that you don't look like you have crazy eyebrows I had a lot of questions also about like eyebrow shaping and my biggest recommendation um, my eyebrows never looked as good as they do now until I started going to someone who specifically knew what they were doing with eyebrows. I highly recommend finding someone who is great at eyebrows. You don't necessarily need to go to someone that only does eyebrows, but if you find a great cosmetologist, esthetician, whoever it is that is maybe known for their work with eyebrows, go to them, try them out. Um, I mean, obviously it's okay to tweeze, like, I, the only place I tweeze ever um, in between appointments is just like right here. I'll get a little bit, but for the most part, I try to stay away from the tweezers because I don't want to mess it up. I want to give her plenty of canvas to work with. So that's my biggest tip with eyebrow shaping, is find someone who's known for the way that they can shape eyebrows. Also, I know a lot of people worry about the fact that they don't have a lot of hair on their eyebrows, and um, that's how I was. Like, I didn't have very much right here, especially, and um, my arch, I wanted my arch to be a lot higher, and it just, even with all my eyebrow therapy, eyebrow rehab that I was going through, I just, it was not really working to get you know obviously she can't make my hair grow so I started trying out a few different products that um, have helped my eyebrows grow so the first one is the least expensive it's the Ardell Lash it and let's see Lash and Brow Excel it's found at Beauty or at Sally Beauty and um, they all pretty much look the same. They all pretty much work the same. Just this little brush. Um, I just brush it onto my eyebrows and I do a little um, swipe on my, along my lash line as well. It helps them grow, it's great. 
Um, I really liked this one, but I decided to upgrade. Let me upgrade ya, upgrade ya. Get a little Beyonce in here, upgrade ya. <laughs> I wanted to upgrade, so I tried these two. There's Grande Lash MD, and it's also for both eyelash, eyebrow, and it works the exact same way as the other one, only this formula is going to be a little more intense. Um, and I've really loved this one. Same goes for Infinite Lash. Um, it's the same thing. This one only says that it's eyelash enhancing, but guess what? I put it on my eyebrows too. And it looks exactly the same. If I would recommend any one for eyebrows, it would be the Lash Grande. Um, or Grande Lash. I, I really like it and obviously it's great for lashes too. But I did notice more of a lash difference with the um, Infinite Lash. And I don't know if maybe I was better at using it, um, like more consistent at using it. But if you don't wanna drop the money for these ones, go to Sally's and get this one. I think it was, it was under 20 bucks. So try them out and see if that helps you grow the hair that you need on your eyebrows. So let me know if you have any other questions about eyebrows. If you have your own personal eyebrow tips, I would love to hear them. And all hail the eyebrow. I hope that you um, check out my blog and subscribe to my channel right down there. Bye!